All right, it's a pretty good indication things are expected to be bad when the state and National Guard brought in added manpower for high water rescues. They're staging in three different counties tonight. Fox Force Brandon Todd is in Fort Worth with more on that and the effort to distribute sandbags for possible flooding in Tarrant County. Brandon. Right, TxDOT uh, back behind me is being used as a holding location for those sandbags. Tarrant County Emergency Management requested them on behalf of 11 cities in the off chance that they might need to use them in case of high water. Lots of first responders gearing up for a very rainy weekend forecast. These are Zodiac 420s inflatable rescue boats. They're when the water rises, they're ready for the call. The Swift Water Rescue Team from Texas Task Force One staging here in Argyle, ready to deploy to anywhere in Denton County or surrounding counties if they're needed. We're firemen when we're not doing this, so we're, uh, we're, we're used to running emergency calls of all types. It's just that in addition to fighting fires, we specialize at Swift Water Rescue. The forecast has had them busy throughout the state. So we're, we're chasing the storms, but trying to position the the resources where they're most likely going to be needed. Um, currently this weekend we're focusing on on North Texas. We have uh, we've got a lot of coverage up here. They were even doing some training this afternoon on throwing those throw bags that they'll use for victims who may be stranded in high water. The Texas Army National Guard also has units ready to help with water rescues. These trucks can drive into about three and a half to four feet of water and help deploy boats if needed. They're also staged in Cleburne in Johnson County and Granbury in Hood County, where continuous storms have already left many communities at high risk for flash flooding. Army National Guard helicopters are on standby in Grand Prairie to be airborne at a moment's notice should a high water rescue happen. We've already seen them in action in recent weeks, airlifting homeowners and drivers to safety. We're hoping that, it's, that it doesn't happen, but if it does, we're, we're ready to respond. Of course, we want to make sure that people understand, uh, Steve, the, the sandbags that are arriving here uh, by way of DPS, uh, getting them here to the tech side, are not for the general public to use. They're just for the city entities uh, to come here and use if they need them. And no doubt, Steve, they're hoping that they won't need them. Yeah, understood. Brandon Todd, live in Fort Worth tonight. Thank you.